Mediators from all over the country are asking the same question. How do I start, sustain, and grow a mediation practice? How do I get mediation clients? If this is an issue you're currently facing, then we have expert tips that can help you. Let's take a look at three steps you can take to build a reputable mediation business. Become a professional mediator. If you've been researching how to become a mediator, you probably already know that you'll need education and training. Most states require a minimum of 30 to 40 hours of training to be considered as qualified for listing as a court-approved mediator. In reality, many clients will expect you to have far more training hours before trusting you with their business. Go beyond the basics. Take a variety of courses with a variety of instructors, teaching a variety of styles. Then, ask yourself detailed questions about your experiences. Did they advocate for facilitative or another style of mediation? What type of mediation seems most effective? What role is best for you? What format do you like the most? This will help you determine the style that works best for you. Here are a few tips to help you get started. Tip one, find an experienced mediator who is willing to mentor you and spend time observing his or her practice. Tip two, learn about mediation in volunteer programs. Offer pro bono your mediation services, gain experience and reputation. Tip three, there are plenty of mediation session simulation on YouTube. Watch them, but with a critical eye. Build mediation practice. Create a mediation business plan to ensure you have a proper understanding of what running your own business will entail. Take the time to cultivate your reputation as a capable and trustworthy mediator. Your reputation is by far your most important asset when acquiring clients and referrals, and therefore, a sustainable business. Next, put yourself in a position to meet potential clients and referral sources. Put your efforts into where they already are. Do not expect them to come to you. Don't forget, without marketing, you can't sustain or grow your mediation practice. It doesn't have to be sinister. Market your business in all ways possible to get clients. Of course, one of the most important tools for establishing credibility as a business owner today is having a website and a digital presence on social media channels. Expand your business. Keep your business alive by strategizing ways to expand and thrive. For example, join a professional association and get involved. Join online conversations, especially if it's about your area of practice. You can also publish articles in the association's newsletter. Associations always have committee, board, and liaison positions. Establish yourself as a knowledgeable leader in the mediation community by writing and publishing long-form content like white papers and case studies. These could be published on your website or submitted to industry publications. You can also expand the services you offer. Offer training or mentoring. Volunteer. Form a partnership with another mediator who complements your skills and abilities. Be seen. Step up your public speaking engagements. Be a speaker in a conference or a webinar. Now you need to revise your marketing plan. Check where you are compared to your goals. Make adjustments. Now that you have this roadmap, do you feel more comfortable about becoming a full-time mediator and marketing your service? Let's chat in the comments. Download our nine steps guide to build the perfect marketing plan for your mediation business. Visit mediatorselect.com. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.